Seamus, by the way. Hey. So I'm just going to ask you a few questions about, you know, your experience in the belly. So. Oh, we're going back to the belly, are we? Oh, we're doing it. You know what? I had a feeling you were going to ask me about the belly. Yeah. So, where do we begin? Yeah, right. Well, we could start uh, number one with the fact that uh, this Princess Ruto bitch. Now, she's a right idiot. Uh, my first encounter with her was really when I went to Lake Hylia. Beautiful lake, uh, gorgeous sun, everything's just beautiful. I killed a couple of those weird spider thingies on my way in, that was about it. Going to the lake, just taking a right nice dip there, and um, I noticed down in the water there's a, there's a bottle down there. A fucking bottle? And of course, my fairy tells me, like, oh, look, it's a fucking bottle. She goes green and fucking flies down there and shows me a bottle. And all right. So, all right, I dive my ass down there, grab the bottle, and what's in it? There's a letter. Fuck off. Now, in the, le the letter says, um, to my father, some bullshit, retarded crate that I don't want to read. So I grab it and I assume, all right, well, this is probably to Zora's domain, because I caught some, some of that somewhere in the paragraph. Take it back now. Walk in, there's a bunch of fish people around, and it's, this is, I mean, I had already seen the rock guys from the mountain, so I mean, it wasn't that weird, but they were still smelly. They, they had a musk about them. Mm. It was like a salmon, but not a salmon, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah. So I'll take the bottle up there, talk to a uh, uh, fucking, I don't know, what's the guy's name? King, uh, King Ruto, I guess is his name. The fat, the, the fat, fat guy. Fish, the big fat fish, I don't know if you know. Oh yeah. Come to us in a red cape. Fucking right huge bastard. A right huge bastard in a red cape. So I show him the letter and he goes, oh my god, you know, that's my daughter. Um, I have, I have never seen her for a long time. She went to feed Jabba Jabba and he just hasn't, she hasn't come back. I looked at this guy right in his face and I said, okay, well, you know Jabu Jabu is 20 feet behind you. If you just turn your fucking fat ass around and look, or at least move the fuck out the way, so another one of your fish friends could come up and swim over there and talk to the other big fish. Well, of course, he's an idiot. He hasn't done that. So, of course, as I brought him the bottle, he thinks me some sort of adventurer, which I am. Well, he just kind of assumes I'm going to go in there and look for his daughter. And get shit done. Yeah, he just assumes. So he says, okay, well, I'll move my fat ass over if you want to go up there and look for my little girl. What a so fucking say, right oh, bastard. I can't say no, it's a princess. I mean, that's kind of my fucking mandate at this point to say princesses. And I'll never fucking forget what he did. This is what he did. I'm just going to reenact this for just a couple seconds and then we can, we yep. can, we can mentally multiply this. This right, is what he did. Let's do it. He's sitting there like a big, fat, stupid fish. Yeah. He goes, okay, I'll move. All right, now, see what I did there, just that little short segment? Multiply that and make that about 50 seconds long. It was just, it was just absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely fucking ridiculous. And it stopped being funny like 10 seconds in. I was like, all right, I can't, I can't skip this. Fucking scene. get on with it, you I know? Mean, Nintendo didn't have the wherewithal to give you like a skip scene button, so you had to watch it every time you fucking played. Anyway, done with that. Move to, move to the side, walked in. So as I get in there, I see this big fucking fish. I'm talking like this thing is a gargantuan. It's not like a whale or anything. It's like this, this big fish. It's got teeth and it's weird. It's just weird. They probably it's, smelt it's bad too. It smelt like my mother's boat. It was just disgusting. It's breathing in and out. And... Weird. A fish that breathed. Yeah, no, it's it's weird. And all I have on me is my slingshot. I've got a couple of bombs. I don't know how to talk to this guy. So I figured maybe if I drop some fish in front of him, he'll open his mouth and I can get in there. Because I'm assuming Princess Ruto's in there. I don't I don't really see any place else of interest in the Egypt area. So I figured she must have got eaten by this fucking fish. So I'm going to have to go in there and carve her ass out, out of his colon or something like that. So, drop a fish. What's he do? Inhales. Sucks me in there. Like, now I'm in his belly. Oh, fuck, yeah. No. I don't really know how biologically this works, but he seemed to have some sort of a symbiosis with jellyfish. There's these weird, like, floating jellyfish, and they're not, I'm not talking floating in the water, they're floating in mid-air. They're just kind of strolling about, just jellyfish. You know, when you try to shoot your slingshot at them, it doesn't work. Try to use your bombs, don't work, right? You, you, God damn you if you try to fucking stab them, because your sword's metal, it conducts electricity. You stab the bastard, you're getting zapped for fucking three hearts. That's just immediately what happens. So you gotta avoid those bastards the entire time. Now as I walk in, um, 
I guess it's like esophageal walls open and close and shut. And that's right. fucking right. I'm able to pass through its body. It's quite weird, but I'm not. I'm trying not to think of it at this point. It already smells like disgusting, like fucking. I don't know how. To, I'm not really pr- privy to seafood, so I can't really even match the match the smell to your to your ears here. But uh, so I go in there, and I, I seem. I, I think I hit the, the duodenum or something like that. And there's like a bunch of fucking pillars and shit. But they're like, fuck, you get out of here, you bunch of flesh pillars, weird, and there's like these fucking holes in the ground, and they're like flesh holes, and as I walk in, I see Princess Rudolph standing there, you know, the hearts start going, and boo doo 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 you found the princess. So I walk up to her and talk to her, and let me tell you, man, she is a right bitch. <laughs> she is a right you bitch. You fucking knew it, she right? She is a right, pompous, royal bitch. Oh, walk yeah. up to her, I says, okay, princess, you want to come back up this way, and get the fuck out of this goddamn fish? She says no. Can I do that? She I says lost, no. She says no. I lost my sapphire. She lost a. F- she lost her, her her little little jewel of some kind. She says it's her mother's jewel. At this time it didn't click, but that was actually the spiritual stone that I was there for in the first place. So it worked out in the end, but she lost it. And I'm thinking, bitch, I'm gonna gut you and turn you into fucking sushi in a second if you don't get out of this fucking fish. Stay up. Hey. She says no. She won't do it. So Fuck. I says, okay. Well, where did you drop the fucking stone? And she says, well, I don't know where I dropped it, somewhere in the colon. So basically she's been the most useful you basically can ever ask for. the most useless bitch. And here's the, here's the, here's the kicker. Not only will she refuse to leave, she'll only stay within the confines of the fish and move about if I carry her. For fuck's sake, that press. So she gets into a fatal position and I gotta put the bitch above my head. Now, she already smelled like fish, but when I've got the bitch's genitalia right by my head, let me tell That's you that fucking the disgusting. mask is overbearing. It made me want to, it would make, it would literally make an anus puke. <laughs> an anus <laughs> would puke from the smell. I There's a visual for you. Of time. We all know that. Anyway, so we go through the first little hole in the floor and, um, of course, the jewel's not there. We, we keep looking, I'm picking her up, throwing her up on ledges, climbing up there, you know, doing my standard shit, solving these little puzzles as I go. Um, and then we get to this one room, and it opens up, and it's like a big platform in the middle of the room. So I throw her up on top of that platform, because the stone is right there. And I'm like, well, how could you drop the stone in such an obvious place? This looks like a trap of some kind. So she goes up there, she's like, oh yeah, I've got the stone, I'm about to come down. As she steps forward, the platform raises to the ceiling, and she's going. It's For like fuck's sake. It's like a 40 foot ceiling, so I'm sitting here like, god damn it, how the fuck am I going to get up there? You right? got an elevator or something. You know, you know what I'm saying, there's no elevator in the place, so... When the platform comes back down, not only is Princess Ruto not on it, there's a giant... octopus thing. Inside of a fucking fish. It's weird. It's it's like a big sucker, and it's got a big old mouth just looking to give the meanest blowjob in the world. Like I'm talking, it's a big. It looks like a tuba. It's just disgusting, and it's huge. It's like at least fucking twenty times my size. So it starts chasing me around this circle, and I'm running my ass off. I don't want to get raped by this fucking squid thing before I die. And I realize that after it does that for a while, it'll start turning the other way, and I can run up there and stab it in the arse. I figure that out after a little while, I do it, I do it, I do it, I do it, stab it in the ass and it's gone. Fuck. So after I kick that thing's ass, I jump on the platform, go up, and uh, I start having to kill these little tentacles, and that's kind of like what the motive is at this point, and they're like, I guess, like, uh, I don't know, like just fleshy spires coming from the ceiling, I have to kill them. Um, so to do that, I find a new piece of equipment, and that's a boomerang. And with the boomerang, I can kill the, the uh, previously mentioned Jellyfish. The jellies. Right, it makes quite a nice, quite a nice workout of the jellyfish. Fucking jelly. All right. So now, if I can recall, after I kill these things and get the boomerang, I go to the top level of the fish, and I don't know how that works. I don't know if there's like a schematic system with the fish. I don't really know what the biology of it is, but I get to the top level of the fish, and that is like some big fucking electrical barnacle thing. I'm talking this thing is massive. I'm talking it, like if it were here, it would be at least four poles deep, three poles wide, and just spinning with electrical jellyfish all around it. Long story short, got a big dick, I killed it really quick. And as it died, um, Princess Rudo was inside it. I saved her, took her back to her big fat stupid dad, and I got the stone. I didn't even have to fuck her. She wanted a dick, but I didn't do it. 
And that was it. That's my story. Fucking right, good one, that that. Right, good story. I'll you like still it. smell like fish a little bit, I'll be honest with you. I know, I can't get it all the clothes. No, I kind of like it. Can't do it.